the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 333 2 Corinthians 5-9 Widen your hearts. A Christian's duty was to make a peace through the help of the Holy Spirit and to serve beyond one's circumstances. First point. Paul declared that the reason he was able to spread only Jesus' gospel was because he truly believed in eternal life and the final judgment. Paul revealed the reason as to how he was able to only spread the gospel of Jesus Christ. Paul taught the Corinthian church members that although our physical bodies are on earth, our eternal lives were in heaven. For this reason, God had sent the Holy Spirit. Christians could therefore be courageous and have a desire to be with God. Paul moreover explained that he was able to spread only the gospel of Jesus Christ, as he absolutely believed in God's final judgment. He added that he was able to endure all the current hardship and persecution, as he dreamed of God's joy and the spreading of the gospel. Paul declared that he wished more to be with God than for his body to live easily on earth. In other words, he proclaimed that although he was going through much difficulty, he was ultimately full of joy and he knew that his reward was heaven. Second point, Paul, who was a peacemaker, taught the Corinthian church members to have a big heart. Paul declared to the Corinthian church that he received his apostleship from Jesus' everlasting love. Paul said this not to reveal his status, but to clarify to those who did not understand. Since meeting Jesus on his way to Damascus, Paul's life had completely changed. Thus, Paul was able to proclaim that those who met Christ were renewed. Paul added that God had helped them fellowship. On these lines, Paul told the Corinthian church to also fellowship with God. Paul warned them not to put to waste God's blessing or grace. Here, Paul referenced the words of Isaiah. Following on, Paul revealed the hardships he endured as an apostle, but how none of this got in his way of spreading Jesus' gospel. Paul here was confirming his apostleship, as some of the members of the Corinthian church had doubts of his apostleship. Paul was trying to become a peacemaker in all of this. Paul first advised them to have a big heart. Paul clearly explained the reason as to why problems between them occurred in the first place. This was ultimately as they had closed their hearts. They had no idea how much Paul had suffered for the gospel. Paul advised them to accept him as their spiritual father and to listen to his advice. Second, Paul advised not to go along with those who did not believe in God. Paul justified the members of the Corinthian church to be God's people. Third, Paul advised them to live as God's holy people. In other words, Paul gave them the identity as God's children and told them to live as holy people of God. Third point, Timothy's news about the Corinthian church managed to provide Paul with immense consolation and joy. Paul's team endured a great deal of hardship in Macedonia. However, some good news reached Paul amidst this hardship from Timothy that the Corinthian church members had repented. Paul was most pleased to hear that the Corinthian church members were working hard. 
to protect Paul against those who tried to persecute him, and also that Titus had safely returned. The first letter that Paul sent to the Corinthian church was 1 Corinthians. However, after reading this letter, the members of the Corinthian church misunderstood. And so, Paul followed up with 2 Corinthians, chapters 10 to 13. After reading Paul's second letter, the church members cleared up their misunderstanding. This was great news for Paul, as he had actually worried after sending his second letter, which rebuked them. Luckily, however, the church members read his letter and repented of their sins. Paul was relieved first, as the Corinthian church members had accepted his apostleship. Second, Paul was pleased that they had welcomed Titus and that there had been a change in the church. Third, Paul was pleased that his praises about the Corinthian church became validated through Titus. Fourth, Paul was pleased to hear that the Corinthian church members received Titus obediently. Fourth point, Paul taught the Corinthian church that providing financial aid to the Jerusalem church was incredibly important. In his third letter, Paul once again emphasized the matter of providing financial aid to the Jerusalem church. Initially, the Corinthian church members had got the wrong idea that Paul was using the funds for himself. Despite this, Paul once again mentioned this matter and emphasized that it was crucial to provide Jerusalem church with financial aid. Paul thought that providing aid to the poor was an incredibly important matter. Paul added that the Macedonia church had also provided financial aid to the Jerusalem church. Paul had in some ways made the Corinthian church and the Macedonian church compete in order to help the Jerusalem church. Macedonian church here reported to Philippi, Thessalonica, and Berea. Although they were not wealthy themselves, they still provided financial aid. Macedonian church paid more than they could afford. As they were willing to pay so much, Paul was worried for their livelihood. Despite their own financial hardship, they still paid more than Paul expected. They gave themselves to God and also endeavored to live according to God's will. As such, Paul used the Macedonian church as an example to the Corinthian church. Fifth point, in order to financially help the Jerusalem church, Paul sent three people to the Corinthian church. Paul sent three workers to the Corinthian church to collect aid for the Jerusalem church. One person who volunteered was Titus. The second person was one who was praised by the church and someone who had already gone to collect funds from the Macedonian church. The third member was someone who dearly loved the Corinthian church. The reason Paul sent these three members was firstly because the Corinthian church members still had not completed what they had been preparing for a year. Secondly, if this news had begun to spread, this would be an embarrassment to other churches. Thirdly, Paul wanted to make sure that the funds were recollected before Paul went to visit the Corinthian church again. Paul stressed that the people who prepared the funds for the Jerusalem church would be blessed by God. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation. One story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And 
He has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.